How's it going everyone? We're here for some more top skins for this next week and I almost forgot what video this was and we're going to jump into a couple of new things. So Helk has asked me to kind of try to change it up and just kind of help with quality of the skins. Uh, this was explained in my discord as well as the official Rust discord in the workshop section. There's a post by me in both of them if you want to check it out in detail. But uh, yeah, basically skins uh, are going to be judged a little more on quality if it's something that's like just barely made the qualifications that's not going to be a thing anymore you either need to be a great skin or you're not so that's kind of how it is so uh what we're also going to be doing as a trial i'm going to be doing top 10 skins and it's going to be the top 10 uh picks for that week and then after that is everything else that qualified for the week so this is gonna be the first week we're trying that out so here we are and our first of our top 10 is going to be a poncho bandana set this one is very well sculpted and very, very colorful. This is Vault Illusion's Fish, Net, Hide, and Poncho. Uh, sorry, Hide, Poncho, and Bandana. So you've got the little octopus caught in the net in front of the bandana, and he looks terrified, and it's hilarious. You've got all sorts of other little things here, like the fish and the sea stars, and everything just looks separate. You know, it doesn't look like the pieces themselves are all, you know, one mesh or anything like that. They've done a really good job at making this pop. So that is definitely why it is in the top 10. Next up, we've got two high qual sets for you. The first one's gonna be the Mutagen set by Multi Hat. And yeah, as you can see, this is a kind of like praying mantis bug insectoid kind of thing going on. And again, this is just so beautifully sculpted. The pieces look separate. It's not just one flat surface. Everything kind of pops a bit. And that, again, is what makes this kind of a top 10 item. You can really see the details. They've made an effect to where it looks shiny and wet, but it doesn't just look overly glossy. There's just like a lot of details that really make the difference between a great skin and a really good one. And our second high qual set here, as you see, is definitely very interesting. It is the Swamp Beast, kind of a similar theme, except this is more of kind of like a crocodile, reptilian kind of thing going on. And uh, yeah, Oasis, once again, has done a very good job here. You can see the details of the skin. The scales are separate. The bumps are separate. You know, there's been a lot of sculpting done, but it's not too overly sculpted. Nothing looks weird and out of place. And you can just really see the work of the topology on this especially with like the fins on the side and the different types of scales, it really does show what kind of details make a popping skin. All right, next up, we have two large boxes for you. The first one is gonna be Gibba's Firewood Storage Box. And once again, uh, we're really just kind of showing sculpting this week. I feel like it's really important to kind of show how you can make details. A lot of people make great skins and cool, you know, designs or artwork but it gets put on just a flat gun they remove what's there and put it over and they don't actually edit any of the skin and that's a huge opportunity missed to really make the skins look new and great and uh, it's really hard with flat surfaces like doors and other deployables i think they did a really good job of making this look like an actual literal wood storage then over here we have a very glowy artsy beautiful kind of design and this is the moon guard glow box by papakari and uh, as you can see here, it's got this beautiful owl on the face of it. And once again, you can just see the detail really going into it. You've got these beautiful carvings. You've got the little, you know, moons or sun. Well, not other moons, I'm guessing. Then you've got this beautiful kind of scape with the sun. You even have little flowers and vines. And all of it, again, it doesn't look flat. It's something that pops and is sculpted nicely. Next over here, we've got a wooden door for you. This one is the Alpha Wolf wooden door, and this looks like it's basically hand carved. It has a very, very beautiful design to it. Very kind of basic wooden door, just goes with those kind of shacks. The back of it even has the little details. If you can see, there's plaster in between for insulation. It just really has that old kind of mud hut wooden door kind of look to it, which fits the vibe of Rust. And the wolf art is beautiful, and it does have a nice little glow we'll show you here in a second. Moving on to our first of two sheet metal doors this week is the Wild Nature Door, which you should have seen in the thumbnail. And this door is just, I mean, it's a beautiful pane of stained glass. And you've got this deer and the sun and everything, and then you've got this beautiful trim around it. It just is a nice work of art. 
Moving on, we've got our last door, and it is the Soul Light Darkness Sheet Metal Door by Uproar. And this has two versions. There's one with a mesh and one without, and I really think this mesh one is nice because it's a really hard to see through mesh. As you can see here, I mean, it's just kind of a little bit. And uh, it's definitely something that makes the sheet metal door look good. It has gold, it has bright colors, it has skulls, and uh, you know, a lot of people say they're tired of that kind of stuff, but it does honestly sell really good. Uh, anything that's kind of, you know, bright and colorful and badass looking usually does quite well. So, let's go ahead, kill the lights, take a look at the glow on it. And then we can take a look at the glow on our wolf here. Definitely lights it up very beautifully. The back also has kind of like the light shining through from the front, which I think is a nice effect. We come on down to the owl box. And circle all around it right there. All right, next up we've got our guns, and we only have two in the top list as deployables kind of took up the majority of it. But our first one is going to be an LR, and it is the Copper version 2 by Duck. This police set with a European theme, specifically the UK's colors, has been very popular with every piece that's popped in, but the pieces are kind of rare and far between, which might be kind of what, you know, makes them a little more rare there. But also with the LR getting a buff, this could be a very smart idea for this week. And as you can see, the gun itself has, you know, completely been sculpted, little areas redone here and there, lots of different colors and themes. It's not just one kind of plastered color with some art. Aiming down the sights, you do have a black tip and ring versus the silver of the gun. Not the brightest colors, but it does go with the theme of the rest of it. And last, we've got the Chameleon version 2 L96. Again, a gun we don't really get too often skins for, but this is an incredibly popular set because of the color change. And with these, I mean, they're always so beautifully sculpted. The metallics are something that are always very hard to tackle in making skins. They can either look too flat or too chrome, and uh, that's just something that's very you know hard for someone coming in early trying to figure it out. And with the more kind of developed skins, you can definitely see the difference, especially when you have one that actually can change color, like the Chameleon set. So that does it, everybody, for the top 10. I hope you enjoyed checking that out. Let's go and take a look at all the other qualifying skins for this week. All right, first up, we have a burlap continuation for the Desert Protection set by Demon. And as you can see here, we've got the head wrap. has that same, you know, very simple kind of desert design. But you can see the fabric does have some details of the quality. You have to forgive the clipping there. All the burlap does that. So you can, you know, that just is how it is. But there they are. Then we've got another continuation in burlap with the chainmail set from Legacy. You've got the leather gloves, which uh, yeah, leather gloves don't get accepted too often. But who knows? I mean, it is burlap and that's the best thing, honestly, that goes with it. I do love the chain link boots because honestly, walking on this would probably feel horrible. But the whole thing kind of almost looks like a bubble wrap version of like tin foil chain mail or something. I, I don't know. But uh, it'd be loud and it would hurt. Next, we have some ghillie for you with the forced shadow set. And so far, we have this bandana and poncho. And yeah, it just basically makes a nice ghillie suit for you. Now, I mean, this is something a lot of people really want officially in game would be an actual ghillie suit. We do have a hoodie and pants that look very similar to this. So hey, it could mean there's a chance for this one as well. Next, we have a solo poncho for you, but it is from a very big set. It is the white out poncho. As you can see, you can kind of see that little pattern there with the gray kind of triangular stuff going on. But there's also a mesh thing going on, which kind of looks like, you know, little holes through the snow. Definitely like it. It gives some breathability to the poncho, so to say, and uh, definitely makes it look a little bit more than just a poncho. Next up, our other poncho we have for you is the Punk Poncho by Gentle Beast. And this has a nice kind of shiny, just recently maybe uh, brushed over leather. Lots of huge stones. I mean, look at all of those studs, man. They're everywhere. It also says Metal Rocks on the back to continue that metal vibe. And our final poncho for this week is the Anaconda Wrap Hide Poncho. And this thing looks really great from the side. Uh, from the front but it's kind of a little weird from the side kind of like the gold chain but the gold chain still made it in so hey i mean 
This really just looks like someone took a anaconda and uh, skinned it and is now wearing the skin around them. And you'll see when I say with the side, see how it kind of disappears a little bit. But like I said, the gold chain does the same thing. It's a little more rough over here though, so I don't know if that's enough to kind of ruin it. But it definitely looks pretty silly. And uh, you gotta love that. Alright, and next we've got a halter neck and skirt for you. The seaweed set and shells. And yeah, I mean, we already have kind of a coconut version of this in-game as an underwear, so I don't know if this would make it into the game, but it's still very creative and extremely well done. Moving on to hoodies and pants, we've got the Astronaut by Ya. Yeah. And uh, it has this very kind of old school retro kind of astronauty colors. Definitely a very nice looking set. I can see a lot of people liking this one as it's one of those kind of things that just fits into the vibe of Rust. Next up, we've got the Mr. Crabbo hoodie and pants and a lot of pieces from this set have made it in. So there is a chance this could be a contender this week. It also says Crabbo along the arm there, which is pretty funny and it continues that nice kind of little pattern and color scheme as the rest of the set. Our last hoodie and pants this week are going to be the concrete set, and as you can see here, well, it just basically makes you look like you're made out of concrete and steel, and uh, it's just a very kind of silly idea, but man, they did a good job. I mean, look at the cracks and everything through this. It It is just really, really well sculpted, and uh, I think it just makes this quite unique. Moving on to our armor, we have a single road sign set for you this week, the Goldstone set by Jimmy Tudusky. And this just continues the rest of the Goldstone set. It's that flat black with, well, gold ore encrusted and attached all along and throughout it with some nice little leather straps. Next up, we have another little creative set as we move on to our high quals. It is the Completionist set by Kira. And as you can see here, it has all the different rust achievements carved out into it with that kind of red little shine. But they gave it a bit of a chrome effect to kind of make the armor nice and shiny. Back has kind of a little like, almost like studs going on, but not quite. And yeah, I just think it's a really cool idea with the whole achievements. It also comes in an alternate version, which has the achievements still grayed out. But honestly, I think the red one just pops much more. Next, we high qual set has some teeth. For, yeah, it is the starved face mask, and yeah, kind of gives a bit of a psycho look, but also kind of like a shark missing its bottom jaw or something. And then, yeah, there's stuff stitched across here that looks like old leather, but I'm not really honestly sure what the leather is made from. So, hey, definitely a creepy looking set. Moving along, we've got some food for you with the Sushi Man set. And uh, yeah, you got some sushi going on, sesame seeds, seaweed, rice, and all held together by some green onion straps, I'm thinking. And uh, yeah, it's just all together a silly set, but it is well sculpted. And uh, I don't know, so maybe some people want to run around and be sushi. Last high quality set for this week is also a food theme. It is the banana peel set. Now we already have a banana set, but hey, I mean, this is cardboard covered in a bunch of banana peels. So, I mean, that's a little bit different, right? And I mean, the whole thing is just really silly looking. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those. It's hard to work with flat surfaces and make things pop. And I think they still did a pretty decent job with the bananas. All right, moving on to our deployables, we've got the water sleeping bag, and it's basically a waterbed sleeping bag. I mean, it, the whole thing just looks like a giant slushy disaster waiting to happen. But hey, definitely is a very cool design. It even has like water kind of droplets and so forth to it. Very shiny effect. Definitely well done. Moving on, we do have a small box for you this week. It is the Sunflower Wooden Box does have a pretty little glow that also goes along with it. Moving on to our large boxes, we've got two different Koi boxes by two different people for you. We've got the Koi Pond version 2 by Domish, which has kind of a more realistic kind of art to the Koi. They're also butterfly Koi, and then it's kind of got more of a future kind of glowy look to the brick and stuff. And then over here we have more of a mossy brick with more of an art stylized Koi going on with Slovani's Koi Box. Which one do you guys like the best? 
Moving on to our last large box for this week is the Vampire Metal Box version 2 by Chris. And yeah, it just looks like a crypt box. Very stark white handles there. And then you've got this creepy little bat skeleton on the top. Moving to our furnaces this week, the first one's going to be the Ancient Tree. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing is creepy. Uh, it looks a lot more like Vine Monster or something, but hey, there you go. Over here we've got another furnace, the nuclear reactor, and man, look at that. It has this really cool green glow that pops up through various places when you turn it on. And uh, just that mean green right out the front will show you, of course, a little better at night. Moving on, we've got one more really cool effect, and it is the Tesla furnace. And this actually, all of this electricity is glow that pops up when you turn it on definitely a very sick idea and this was definitely a contender for the top 10 this week as well next we've got ourselves a cement barricade and this one here is the kelp barricade so you should recognize the kelp hung up on the barricade here with some nice little wood and so forth a little bit of greening on the edges then we've got a locker for you this week and it is just absolutely beautiful i mean look at this this antique locker by zinc definitely very very well done and i love that very well done reflection there now we have a couple rugs for you the first one's pretty silly it is the monsters rug various crazy things going on all around throughout it then over here we've got mirror version 2 and as you can see it definitely has a much better kind of mirror effect than the last one very shiny i mean you can make a very chrome looking base with this moving on to our doors we've got a double wooden door for you the wooden double door summer colors continuing with the summer colors theme we saw the single door and now we have the double door to go with it Moving to our sheet metal doors, we've got the Mossy Skull Sheet Metal Door up first for you. Followed by the Monsters Door by Y9J. And the Thing Metal Door by Shedmon. Moving to garage doors, we've got this almost, it's almost painful to kind of look at at first. It's the LED Array Garage Door. And they, they really nailed that effect, I have to say. Then we've got some really cool art with the Boar Garage Door by Wagon. And last but not least, a continuation with the Shadowborn set with the Double Armored Door. Go ahead and take a look at the back of it. And we'll kill our lights. And check out the glow. You really see those electricity sparks going right through. Look at that. Very cool. Then you've got that toxic waste glow. Pretty normal thing going on in the front here with the creepy eyes from far away. Very weird. Very cool vibe. Got the Dracula bat box. Our two koi boxes. And the sunflowers, as I said, they definitely glow really nicely. And lastly, that water bed. All right, let's move on to those tools and weapons. First off, we've got a gavel hammer for you. The judge's gavel, to be specific. It's a simple idea, but definitely something that is creative and appropriate for the tool because there's lots of bonking to be done. Next, we've got a egg rock for you. Well, a uh, cup of carpiri. I, I, I can't pronounce it. It's a food dish and it looks delicious. But don't eat your rock. You'll lose your teeth. Next, we've got our first weapon this week and it is the Imperial Crossbow. A nice little continuation to the Imperial set, of course. It has that nice kind of brushed silver steel kind of thing going on. 
moving along we've got a db that a lot of you guys have been saying i better see that in the next video well here it is it's the hot dog double barrel the rusty dog to be specific and uh yeah just it's a nice silly db that i think everyone could appreciate if it popped on in Going along with the food theme, we've got our first pistol with Horia, and it's the Reaper Ioka. And a lot of people have done chili pepper things, but here is the next one in the line, the Reaper Pepper Ioka. <laughs> Moving along, we've got some saps. The first one is going to be the Kumo for you. And yeah, it's got a kind of nice little carved design, a nice wooden grip with some red wraps aiming down the sights, though. Nothing too different or exciting really going on there, unfortunately. Our next sap is part of a three-parter color. This is the Koi version, but there's also, also a stealth and kind of like a snow camo-y look. But I think the Koi one popped the most because it's so much more different from a lot of stuff we have out there. Just a very cool design. Aiming down the sides here, you do have a orangey tip to go with the Koi colors. And there's that reload. Moving along, we have a very cool SMG for you this week. It is the Bubble Gum SMG. And a bunch of you guys bothered me for this one last week. And uh, there is a one week pre approval. And I still don't know if the artwork on here is 100% uh, copyright free or not. Still waiting. I left a message for the artist today. So we'll see on that. That's why it's always really important to add that proof of art, guys. But you can see a little rust emoji guy on there. So I'm hoping most of this is original art, as it's a very cool design. Aiming down the sights here, you have chrome sights. No different colors, unfortunately, there. And when you reload, you add some more bubble gums. Next up with our MP5s, we've got the Glacier MP5 for you. We have quite a few different sets like this, so I don't know if a new set would really be something to pop in. This definitely has more of a light frosted look instead of the kind of darker blue that some of the other ones have. But with Cold Hunter and the others, eh, we'll just have to kind of see. Aiming down the sights, it does have a darker blue tip. And there goes our reload. Moving on to the next MP5, it's the I'm Fine collection. And I think this just translates beautifully onto it. Lots of bright colors that I could see people appealing to for this set. Aiming down the sights, you do have some aqua green sights and lots of low colors to make use of that empty space back there. Moving along to our last MP5 this week, we've got a very rusty and crusty one for you, the Rusted Metal MP5 to be specific. As you can see, it kind of looks like it used to have a kind of nice gray and silver paint job, but that has long faded. Aiming down the sights, you do have edited sights slightly with a nice red tip. Moving on to rifles, we jump straight into AKs this week with the Sweet Dreams by Lies. And man, this thing is a trippy looking AK. It's like melting, it's candy, it's dreams, it's nightmares. The, the part that kind of looks like a melting face right here, uh, the way he idle, like put the eyes in is just really, really cool. Aiming down the sights, you do have a red and blue tip against the purple and white. Lots of colors going on with this one here. Moving on, we have the fake AR, and it has this kind of like 3D glasses, kind of holographic weird effect with the flames, which is really well done. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's just something that a lot of people kind of like. It's different, and uh, the tones of the gun are still kind of grounded to what an AK would look like. Aiming on the sights, you do have kind of a gray versus silver, but it's a little bit hard to see depending on the light there. Moving on to our next one, we've got the Burnout AK-47. As you can see, the whole thing looks like it is like ready lit burnt embers. And uh, yeah, probably not something you want to hold in your hands there. Now you might ask, well, does it glow? Because a lot of the kind of embery skins do, but this one does not. So if it did pop in, it wouldn't give you away. The sights do have a black tip versus the rest of it there. Moving on to our AKs, we've got one more, the Sand Scorpion AR by GBG. And man, look at this. It looks like it's taken straight out of ancient ruins from Egypt. We've got the Eye of Ra, this big old golden scorpion on it. And uh, yeah, it's just these lines. As the sun kind of hits it, the gold kind of shines through, which is really, really well done. This was also a contender for the top 10. It's very hard to make that choice this week. 
aiming down the sides here, you do have gold versus the kind of tan stone color. And there's that reload. Now we can move on to this LR. It's the cardboard LR this week. And this is always a popular set as well. The cardboard set has always done pretty good. Never like really well, but it's always done pretty good. So this is one that could have a chance to pop in. Cardboard is kind of a hard thing to make look real and not flat. Little Ranger, of course, did an amazing job on it. Here you can see all the different parts of corrugation and so forth. Aiming down the sides, you have cardboard sights with a nice little red tip and radiation and <laughs> caution fire symbols as well. You don't want to catch your cardboard gun on fire. Then we've got the wrong skin again, but Rebel Bolt Rifle. And this is basically another kind of rusty, crusty old skin. It's got this nasty old, like... You can tell it used to be a white cloth wrap on the front there, but it sure isn't anymore. You've got this faded bronze or maybe even gold. It, it kind of gives me the color scheme of a Golden Boy theme, you know, the Henry rifle. And uh, yeah, it's just got this old worn wood. Aiming down the sights here, there is a little bit of detail done to the back of the pipe there. And there we go. Now we can go on to our last skin for this week, which is the Bullseye L96. You should all notice it from its... Flat black with the smoky lines and the neon green. Aiming down the sides here, you do have a little target to go along with that bullseye name. And there we go for the reload. So that's going to do it, everybody. How do you feel about the new format? Uh, also, I've been working on my sound. Hopefully, I'm a little bit louder and clearer now. Uh, any kind of feedback on that, I'm always happy to hear. Thanks for watching. Any other feedback you have, I'll try to get to the right people. And as always, stay rusty. Thanks for watching.